Hello and welcome to Health Watch. I'm your host, Carolyn Wilson from Ledge Light Health District. The goal of this program is to bring you information on a wide range of public health topics and to introduce you to the people doing great work across the community. Today, I'm joined by Amparo Bustamante, a community health worker from Ledge Light Health District. And today, we will be putting a Hispanic Heritage Month spotlight on the Women Between Cultures program. Amparo, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Um, I feel so happy to be, to be here today and talk a little bit about the program. Yes, so wonderful to have you. Um, thrilled to have you here on Health Watch for the first time. I'd like to spend a little bit of time getting to know you. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what brought you to Ledge Light Health District. Well, my name is Amparo Bustamante. I am from Peru and I've been here in the United States for 23 years. And I have a big family, four kids and one granddaughter. Um, and I feel very happy to be part of Ledge Life. Um, also, I am a missionary. I do missions in different countries for several years. And, and I artist. <laughs> I love to, to paint and do a lot uh, arts and craft too. So um, yeah, that's me. <laughs> busy lady with my family, my kids, the community, but I am, I, I feel so happy to, to have the opportunity to, to serve in the community. That's wonderful. Yeah, so. How did you become a community health worker? Well, um, I started in Ledge Light as an ambassador uh, for a few months, and then I have the opportunity to work uh, full time here in Ledge Light. In, this feel my my hair because I really like to to help people and work with the community. That's yeah. wonderful. Um, you know, a few months ago, I had one of our colleagues, Lizbeth, on the show, and she was talking about her journey to being a community health worker. And I know the two of you uh, get to work on this Women Between Cultures program. Um, it's also called Mujeres Interecoturas, um, and sometimes we even call it MEC, M-E-C. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that program. I do know that it is Hispanic, Hispanic Heritage Month. Uh, we're at the end of it right now. It sort of spans between two months, September and October. But let's talk a little bit about the mission and the goals of that program. Okay, uh, Women Between, we have uh, for two years the program, we start the program. Uh, and our mission is to uh, guide the women uh, in the community, especially who have um, come to this country to start a new life. You know, we, we want to, to teach them how to start a new life here, um, let them know they have rights and they have the same opportunities to grow here as any other uh, citizens here. So in that way, our, our goal is uh, they have um, access to education that they um, have, that they know uh, they have talents and abilities uh, you know, and they they can believe they can grow um, here in this country. So it's a big it's, it's, it's a big job to do in the community, especially with uh, um, immigrants. You know, so we try to encourage them. We we teach them how to start. Uh, you know, doing registrations about the resources in the community. And the most principal goal is give them the opportunity to know they have access to go to the school again, you know, take English classes or maybe some technical classes 
to start a, maybe a career or a new leader business. So this is our goal. They, they need to know everything about where they live. That's wonderful. It seems like there's so much empowerment happening and education and linkage to different resources. So that's wonderful. Um, what are some of the programs that you've done uh, over the years recently that focus on education? So we always look for resources uh, from another organization. We're looking for scholarships for them, like uh, in New London Adult Education. Um, they, they always uh, support us uh, to give us um, some scholarships. Um, also, we have partnership with uh, Spark Maker Place. Um, they give us some spots in their classes. Um, things like that, and we're, we're running uh, workshops every Friday or sometimes um, health and mental health workshops uh, in different days. Yeah, we try to, we try to, to find the resources here, not to come here and teach them about everything, yeah. That's wonderful. It seems like they're getting a very rich experience. And I know I've heard that people are so appreciative to have a program like this in the community, especially if they're newer here to the country, uh, trying to meet people, get established. Uh, what are some of the things that people have said that the testimonials of what this program has meant to them? Well, we already have some women who have a star, um, they a small business. They start a small business. Um, and they start uh, go to the schools. They they already have a jobs. You know, sometimes I hear from some ladies, oh, I don't know if I can do this or that. But when they finish the, um, the workshop, they say, oh my God, I can do that. I, I never think I can do this art workshop or, or, or these, um, you know, classes. Uh, because sometimes they are very afraid here because they don't know the, you know, the law. They don't know anything about, about the, new, um, the new town that they live. So, it's very, I, I, I'm, I feel so happy for them when they say, I'm part of, I learned this and I'm gonna try to do by myself and I'm gonna start a new little business in my house for help my husband, you know, my family to, to get some money. So that's, that's, um, that's incredible. That is a very nice experience for us. And we learn from there. You know, we learn a lot from them. The courage, the happiness. Uh, they they are very rich people in in her feelings. You know. That's wonderful. It seems like it's really rich experience for the participants and for the group facilitators. So that's wonderful. I know that arts and crafts are a big part of the the program. Uh, some people mm -hmm. recognize that that can be a creative outlet on its own, but it can also help uh, boost uh, feelings of well-being and almost transition into almost like a mental wellness uh, approach. What do you think about that? Yes, we have the, um, we have the, the arts and craft every Friday. It's free, totally free for the community. Uh, not too much people knows. It's free. Sometimes they text me and say, it's free or I need to pay something. No, it's totally free. Um, yes, uh, it's a very good way to care uh, our mental health. Sometimes they go to the classes and very tired and they say, oh my God, I'm so tired. But five minutes later, they are so happy. They are very concentrated in their artwork. Um, and they start, they start talking about, you know, the day, their jobs. Um, I think this is the most important part 
they start talk about their problem. They share their problem. They, they share the ideas uh, that they believe and we can help them to, to um, empower them to say, okay, I'm gonna, I gonna do this for you, but you need to keep going in that way, you know? And our, our um, community, the Hispanic ladies, the Hispanic women, likes to be everything in group, in a group. We teach from different uh, ladies, you know, and we learn to, from there. That is very important for us. Learn and teach. They know how to cook and they teach us how to cook. I don't, I, I am a bad person in the, in the, in the kitchen, but I learn a, a lot from them, different uh, uh, food for, from different countries. So that is, that is um, the most important thing. They share the experience. They share their problems and they want to be listened. And they need to know we are here for them to listen to them and help them. This is the most important part in the workshops. And also we have a group dance, international group dance that they enjoy it. We practice um, when we're gonna have events like um, the Heritage Month. They practice every other day at night. I know they are so tired because it's after work, but they are so happy and they feel good. They they feel um, you know they can they can do different things. They can they can share about their cultures. So the mental health is very important especially here because everybody is very busy all day you know everybody wants to 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 have money for for buy the grocery for the kids but nobody think about how i feel you know in what point of my life i am who i am but we we question it the uh, the ladies who you are what you think who you are what you think you can do and then we encourage them you can do this you can go over there you can talk about your right you can raise your voice in a good way you know that is very important that is the the main for the arts and craft workshops because when we're talking we know <laughs> you know yes so they 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 are very happy every friday sometimes i don't post uh, i forgot to post sometimes the, the flyers and they text me or call me amparo we're gonna have a workshop today and they say oh yes i'm gonna have a workshop they bring you know something to share like a little cake or cookies they they want they feel they feel they have a family with us that's so, wonderful, Amparo. It sounds like yeah, the group is really getting a boost from their participation and they're exactly. getting the social support and a little physical activity with the dance. So that's wonderful. So we're going to take a quick break. We're going to be right back here with more with Amparo uh, right after these words. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me. 
human papillomavirus, HPV, is a common virus that can cause six types of cancer. Most people will get HPV at some point in their lives. Fortunately, the HPV vaccine is safe and effective and can protect you from six types of cancer associated with HPV, as well as genital warts. Talk to your healthcare provider about the HPV vaccine. Contact Ledge Light Health District for more information at llhd.org or call 860-448-4882. Welcome back to Health Watch. Today I'm here with Amparo Bustamante from Ledge Light Health District. And before the break, we were getting to know a little bit more about her and the Women Between Cultures program. So Amparo, before the break, we were getting to know a little bit about the great program you've been running now for two years, Women Between Cultures. And I wanna talk a little bit more about that program in a different way. Uh, as we mentioned, it is Hispanic Heritage Month for a little bit longer. It bridges between September and October. And I know that uh, health equity continues to be a major uh, priority for Ledge Light Health District. From your point of view, what do you think are the ways that this program is helping advanced health equity? Education is definitely the the big um, the big important part in our program. Um, the women are educated in different ways, and now they are our ambassadors because now they know about resources about how to register the kids at the school or in the um, community health center. Uh, they know about uh, how to start, uh, take a classes, um, the organization that they have um, resources for them. So this is, this is a program, but sometimes I feel this is a big movement, like a big group of women from the community for the community. They are, sometimes they call me and they say, Amparo, I have somebody with registered the kids in, at the school. And I say, good job. You are doing very great because they, now they know, now they learn. And I think the big, um, the big, uh, goal for us is again education if we educate the people in the community we not just help one person we help all their families if you help one person at the time you're gonna help one family and they know and they talk about it every everywhere they say oh woman between culture have a program that they know where we can find these things. They they connect us with the with the resources. So they they are they are everywhere, and they talk about the resources. They ask very a, a lot of questions about how to do things, and I think this is a big contribution uh, from them to the community. Right, it sounds like oh. there's a, a ripple effect. You know, you exactly. work with some people and then they spread what they've learned and it seems like a lot of people can really benefit from that education and empowerment, just like you said. Yeah, so now I, this is I, our contribution to the community. <laughs> right, it's wonderful. Now, I do know that you're also doing a little bit of work with uh, senior citizens in New London at the Senior Center. This is a little bit separate from the Women Between Cultures program, but I think there are a lot of similar themes with empowerment and uh, different recreational activities. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, um, Margaret Lancaster. Um, uh, Margaret Lancaster and I, we start a few months ago the program with the seniors. We start going to the senior center um, two days a week to see if they need something 
or they ask for something for some help about you know um, medical staff or uh, resources from another organization we connect them with the organizations and also we start with um, some workshops uh, in Mohican building here in, in New London so it's a different it's a different job different population uh, but it's very nice to see how they start believe in our job <laughs> sometimes they are a little afraid they think they think um, nobody listen to them or nobody care about them that is it's totally false but because again we are here for for the people you know so when we start going to the senior center it was a little you know like okay sometimes they are in uh, bad mood bad mood so you know um or feel like um sick or feel depressed depression you know feel like things like that and it's hard for them to to trust in another people so we start to talk with them we sit over there and say hi how are you doing how was your day today sometimes they say not good survivor they say, okay <laughs> but now we feel they love when we cannot go over there the next day when we go there they say oh we miss you ladies and say good we miss you too so it's very important for the seniors to to know they have a resources to know they have people to worry about them and we start with asthma classes nutritional classes and arts and craft classes and they enjoy it now yesterday i, I was at the senior center with margaret and they asked us for when, when is going to be the next uh, workshop because we're going to go to the workshops and talking and you know and have a nice time with you guys and say well we are ready for the next week to start uh, workshops so it's very important um, to let them know they are a very important people and Wonderful. I call them my wives yeah <laughs> I call them my wives because you know I I teach a lot from there, from their um, experience. Sometimes they they told me about their families, you know, where they are from. Uh, it's very kind uh, to learn from from the the seniors, you know. Right. So. It's wonderful. It seems like a lot of the goals from the MEC, Women Between Cultures, are really spilling into the other work you're doing in terms of connectedness, uh, social support, mm -hmm. and linkages to other resources. So there's a lot going on there. Another example of how our community health workers are doing such great work and really uh, helping people come out of their shell a little bit. So uh, that's so wonderful. Now, I do know that the Women Between Cultures program is active on social media. Is that a good place for people to connect and learn more about the program and what's coming up? Yes, we have a um, Facebook uh, page. Uh, it's uh, called uh, Mujeres Entre Culturas. And um, also we have uh, Instagram called Women Between Cultures or Mujeres Entre Culturas, English and Spanish. Um, and we have a lot of followers <laughs> and then they can they can text us to ask for questions so we are always for them that's great you know? it seems like there's no wrong door to get involved that's wonderful and certainly if people are curious to learn more they can visit the facebook and instagram now to to finish our time today uh, you've already mentioned so many things that uh, are glimmers to your day to day um, and what this work means to you. Tell us what the re most rewarding part of this work is for you. Oh, it's a lot. Um, I really, I really know when I help 
people, a person, you are sort of helping their family. And many times you are part of the new beginnings, full of hope for those uh, people. So I think this is the, the best part of my job, to know they are growing here, they, they are learning here, you know, and you are part of that transition and you and you are and you are like a family for them this is um this full my hair <laughs> yeah that's feel my my hair every day oh wonderful so, well thank you so yeah. much amparo for for everything that you're doing with Women Between Cultures, New London Senior Center, and everything you do for the community. It's been a pleasure having you on the program today and getting to know you a little bit better. Thank you, thank you for this opportunity to share. It'll be uh, about our job. Right, great. Well, thank you so much. And to all of our viewers, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Health Watch. We hope you'll join us right back here next time for more Health Watch.